up everybody, Hungry Hussy here, and today we're gonna do a little dish on the Z Grills pellet grill. Yeah! Um, we're gonna do a pretty cool recipe. I actually seen this on the internet. It actually whizzed by my Facebook feed. I said, you know what? That right there would be good. That'd be real good. So, I'm gonna make it for you today. You're probably saying, what am I gonna make? I'm gonna make a jalapeno popper wonton. Yeah, anybody and everybody can do jalapeno popper, right? So I thought, why not do a wonton? Put it in a wonton, get a little smoke in there, okay? Look at all that smoke. Whew. It'd be like having like a, a jalapeno popper or like a Texas Twinkie, whatever you want to call it. There you go. That's what we're going to do. Hey, appreciate you watching. If you haven't already, I would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Without further ado, let's get to the ingredients. All right, y'all. The ingredients are, I got one block of cream cheese. I got that softened. You just want to leave that out on the counter. Let's let it get uh, room temperature. I got a package of uh, wonton wrappers. Wonton. Yeah, yeah. This ain't part of the recipe, but I'll have one of them later on. You're going to need a little bit of uh, little canola oil cooking spray because you are going to need it for your little little tins right here. You're going to put it in those. That's how you're going to make them. Little boats. Um, sour cream. I'm going to add a little about a quarter cup sour cream. I'm going to add some mayonnaise. And I'm going to add, this is uh, Monterey Jack. Uh, no, I'm sorry. This is not Monterey Jack. This is Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. A little bit of cheddar in there too. I actually wasn't lazy this time and shredded my own, which I like to do. Um, jalapenos, I got three jalapenos. I cored them and then sliced them and I got some green onions right there that I'm also gonna put in because this right here is the tops. And also got uh, this is 16 ounces of bacon. I'll probably only use like, I'm sorry, this is 12 ounces. I'm gonna use this whole uh, pound of bacon. I don't have to use awesome bacon, just use whatever kind of bacon, okay? This is pretty good and it's on the cheap. So we're gonna get that on the grill. We're gonna get that cooked up and we're gonna put it in our wontons, all right? All right, hey, welcome back. Hey, let's get the bacon on. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit of time. So what we're gonna do is, uh, it's gonna do this kind of barbecue pit boy style and I'm just gonna put them on here. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Just gonna put it on here. I probably should have put some more aluminum foil down, but it's okay. All right, we're gonna get this bacon. Um, we're gonna get this bacon cooked up, okay? We're gonna get the rest on here, and we're gonna come on back, all right? It's gonna take, well, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. We'll check back, all right? All right, so. While that bacon's going, okay, let's get our wonton wrappers ready and prepped. Put this in, this is a little mini muffin tin. We're gonna put these wonton wrappers in each one. The trick to ha not having a soggy wonton wrapper is you gotta pre-cook your wontons for about 10 minutes, okay? So let's do that. All right guys, hey, welcome back. We're just gonna take some of this cooking spray and we're gonna just Coat this, these little muffin tins. Like I said, it's a little, little cool out today. So you just want to take it, and I kind of just fold it in a little bit, and it's kind of just like that. And it makes a little boat. It makes a cute little boat. And you want to do that for, you know, every one of these. Um, yeah. You do this for every little hole you got because I don't know how many this thing's gonna make. So, yeah, I'll see you in a minute. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, there you go. Just fill each of one, one of those, okay? And we're gonna put these on the grill. We're gonna do, we're gonna let these go for 10 minutes at 300 degrees plus or minus and we're gonna see where we're at all right let's see where our bacon is though all right our bacon is cruising along nicely 
All right, let's see if we can fit our wonton wrappers in there as well. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, we're going to let those go for 10 minutes, 300 degrees. All right, see you back. All right, folks, hey, while the wonton wrappers are in the grill, while the bacon's cooking, we're going to get our mixture ready, okay? The bacon, we're not ready yet. It's okay. It'll get there here soon. No problem. So our cream cheese has set up because it's cold out here today, but uh, it's all right. We'll, we'll make do, all right? We're going to put some of this cheese here. We'll put some of that in there, okay? We're going to put... Uh, We'll put some of our jalapenos. I just don't want to touch them because they were pretty hot whenever I was cutting them. I want a hefty amount of them. Actually, I want all of them. And I want some of those onions. I love those whites of the, of the green onions. Love them, love them. I love green onions. And we want to reserve this right here for, uh, for when we put, put the wontons uh, back in there, okay? And we got our green tops. So. All righty. Now, gotta get a little bit of mayonnaise. I'll well, roughly say you know, a quarter cup, quarter cup, third of a cup of mayonnaise. Okay. We'll need a little bit of sour cream, about the same as sour cream, okay? There we go. Now, Probably should just mix this with this this fork here. It's gonna be beautiful, especially when we put that bacon in there. My word, boy, it's gonna be lovely. I might end up having to go pop this thing right here back in the, in the microwave for a little bit, try to get her warmed up. Might be all right. We have plenty of jalapenos in it, y'all. There we go. Now we're we're mixing it up. You can do you can do whatever you want. You can put poblanos. You can put green peppers if you're not a jalapeno fan. Uh, I did take the seeds. I took the ribs out of the uh, of the peppers. So you know a lot of the spice. You know it's not there. It's not there. So just mix it up, real. There we go. She's beautiful now. Now, let's try it. Mm. That's gonna be special. That's gonna be special right there. Let me check on our bacon. All right, bacon's gonna need some more. We'll check back in five minutes, all right? We also got a timer going for the wontons. Wontons hadn't been in there for probably three minutes or so. So we're all good, no problem. See you back in five minutes, all right? All right, hey guys, welcome back. Looks like our nine minute timer is off for our wontons. Uh, just, yeah. And they are nice. I got a little hot over here. On this one, I put it up against the wall. Probably the heat probably came. But you know what? This is a good way, you know, to test our mixture right here. I mean, it's hot wonton. Hey. Oh, boy. You just wait. You just wait. Bam. There's going to be some good groceries. I need to get this bacon going. Come on, bacon. It is almost done. All right. Bacon, I'm going to give them, I don't know, another five minutes. Should be good to go. We'll slice it up, put it in our mixture. We'll be ready to rock. All right. Hey, come back. I'm actually going to pump up the volume a little bit too. That's what's good about this. I'm going to put it up 350. Let that bacon really, really get cooked, okay? All right, y'all. Hey, our bacon's done. Our bacon, bacon's done. Let's uh, 
I'm gonna get a paper towel just to let the bacon get on, just to kind of just to drain some of the grease off. And then we're gonna slice it up. Boy, look at that bacon. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful bacon. Alrighty. We want to put our smoker, grill, whatever you want to call it, back on 300 degrees. And that's what we're going to finish cooking the wontons on, okay? Bacon, how are you? Bacon's good. The bacon is good. Okay. A lot of the fat's already rendered out and it's went, you know, on the smoker. Whew. Beautiful. So we're just going to slice this up. Hot, 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 hot. Just rough chop it. Rough chop it, then come in. Just kind of rock your knife. My table isn't level, but you know, it's okay. All the OCD people out there, they love it. They just love it. All right, we're just going to put some of this bacon in here and we're going to save the rest uh, just for the tops, okay? Bacon! There we go. And this where it's going to stir this in. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alrighty. And now. Get our wontons, pre-cooked wontons, pre-cooked the suckers. I'll do it with my spoon. There they are. Now we're just gonna take a dollop of this. We'll lay it in every one of these. Some of them you can put more than others. Uh, some of them I didn't. <laughs> I probably should have stuffed them down in the hole a little bit better, but you know, it's rustic. Just a nice little dollop. You're really just heating all this through. Um, you know, everything's pretty much cooked. You just want to make sure all the cheese gets melted and that kind of thing. See, I did this one nice. You can just come in here and just fill it. But you know what? Whenever it, whenever the thing cooks, it'll melt down inside of there. So, y'all get off my back. All right. I didn't come here today to be made sport of, all right? I don't know if y'all know or not, but I tried these a little bit. I tried this mixture, and because some of the wontons were, you know, needed some attention, you know, so, so that's what I did. I had to take one for the team. You, got, you just gotta do that. Some of these, are folded up and I can't get anything in there. Boom. We're gonna try though. Okay, dokie. Got a little bit more. We got our wontons filled up. Now we take a little bit more of this cheese. Just want to put a little bit more of this cheese. Just come in here, a little bit here, a little there. Okay. A little bit right there. And let's put them on every one of these. Now we're just going to take some of this bacon, okay, that we just cut. I'm going to put that on the top. Ooh. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good groceries. Alrighty. Okay. So that's done. We'll put it back in the smoker. 300 degrees until the cheese is melted, basically. We'll let these go for five minutes and we'll see where they're at. Alright? Check back. Alright, hey folks, welcome back. The, uh, I didn't break in, I actually went, I uh, said five minutes, 
and then I actually went another, probably about another four minutes. Uh, but I've been checking it kind of in between and it probably needs about 10 minutes total. But I uh, just wanted to look at these bad boys. There's my timer. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I think I'm going to uh, let these go for about another three minutes. I'll ramp the temp up a little bit. Go to 325. I'm gonna try to really, really set that, all right? 325, we've already been 10 minutes. We're gonna go three more, so it's 13 minutes total, all right? Again, your results might vary. This one, uh, this is kind of how I did mine. Just gotta check the check the wontons, uh, make sure they're not burning, uh, that kind of thing. Check back in three minutes. All right, all right. So it's been about 13 minutes, and I think it is time to get these off. They're pretty beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Look at that, boy. Woo! Look at those beauties right there. Pretty little, little specks of jalapenos. Man. Cheese is all melty and gooey. Y'all, hey, I tell you, whew, I'm going to let these things cool because I have a feeling whenever I bite into them, it's going to be like molten lava in my mouth. I'm thinking about taking the chance, though. I, I better not. I better not. I hate having that, you know, that feeling that, uh, you know, when you scald your tongue, it ain't no good. All right, we're going to let these cool and then we're going to do a little taste test. All right, check back in a minute. All right, hey, welcome back, everybody. It's time to give these little bad boys a try. Oh, that. Mmm. That right there is an awesome, awesome bite. Mmm. It's still hot. The jalapeno's got just still a little bit of crunch to it. And then the wonton adds a nice texture. It's also got a crunch to it, different crunch than a, like a vegetable. Get that onion and then the cheesiness, creaminess of that cream cheese. Dang, that's dynamite right there. Y'all, give us a try. Do your own thing to it. Chicken, shrimp, whatever. And bacon, whatever. Hey, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all the support. I love each and every one of you. And until next time, folks, Hungry Hussy is out. Bye, y'all.